Every great accomplishment always starts with a what if. What if things could be better than what they presently are? And that's exactly the way the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel was built. Prior to 1960, the only way you could cross the Chesapeake Bay was through a ship or a ferry system. The traffic demands were so high that the ferry system could barely keep up, running sometimes 90 trips per day just one way. And if inclement weather hit, there was no way that the ferry could cross. The whole system was shut down and motorists would have to go the long way around. And then, in the late 1950s, a group of engineers got together and asked the question, what if? What if things could be different than what they presently are? What if instead of taking a boat, we could build a bridge? What if we closed the gap between southeastern Virginia and the Delmarva Peninsula? And what they found was that they could save motorists 95 miles for those who were traveling between Wilmington, Delaware and Virginia Beach. The plan that they came up with was unheard of in its day. A bridge tunnel system expanding 17 miles, four man-made islands in waters of 20 to 100 foot deep. Of course, building the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel did not come without adversity and opposition. Many opposed the building of the bridge, saying it was too dangerous. The project could never be completed. It was way far ahead of its time. The cost of the bridge, over $200 million. The project began in the summer of 1960. In 1962, there was a hurricane that came through that almost completely destroyed all the work that had been accomplished. Seven men gave their lives in building the bridge, but still through the adversity, they pushed through and the bridge was completed in 1964 after 42 months of construction. It was now the world's largest bridge and tunnel system and became one of the seven engineering wonders of the world, where over 100 million people have traveled over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel to date. Today, it seems like churches have become more like boats instead of bridges. We do life in the community together. We work together. Our kids go to school together. We're a part of functions and activities together. But yet on Sunday, we get in our boats and we cross the great divide to the other side, to our churches. We worship together. We love on one another. But when service is over, we get back in our boats and we cross back over to the other side, to the communities again. And it seems like there has become this huge gap and disconnect between the church and the community. But every great kingdom accomplishment always comes by first asking the question, what if? What if things could be different than what they presently are? What if instead of taking a boat, we began to build a bridge? What if we closed the great divide and the great gap between the church and the community? What if we began to take the church into the community to make it easier for them to access God? What if we started programs for underprivileged kids? What if we started a food pantry? What if we began to minister to the young people in our area? What if instead of staying in the church, we began to go out into the community and find ways to reach them for Christ? What if the church went to the community so that the community will now come to church? And of course, just like building the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, there'll be great adversity and opposition. There'll be people that say that it can't be done. It's too risky. There's no way it'll ever be accomplished. We've never done church that way. But the kingdom impact we'll have as we build bridges into our community will far outweigh the adversity we face from people around us. And when the bridge is built and we have linked the church into the community, we will see kingdom impact far beyond what we ever thought possible. We'll see lives transformed, marriages restored, addictions broken, 
transformation in people's lives truly happened and completely turned around. Disciples being made. When we begin to build a bridge, people will no longer take the long way around in life trying to find purpose and peace and contentment in their lives. Now the church could be right where they're at, showing them how to access God and to receive Jesus as their Savior, that they can have a personal relationship with Him. But it's only when we ask the question, what if? What if we began to build bridges instead of take boats?